This is Glasnevin Cemetery. Today the cemetery is 124 acres and there's 1.2 million people buried in Glasnevin. And just to put that into a little bit of context, that's more people than are actually living in the city today. Every year we estimate that there's approximately half a million people who visit the cemetery here. That covers everybody from those visiting the visitor centre, those participating in genealogy and heritage services, and those obviously visiting burials and cremations. It is a complex organisation with several business streams. We have been always innovators. We've been leading in burial and cremation services for almost 200 years. As CEO, my key priorities are to ensure that we remain innovators, to ensure that we can protect the past and modernise the organisation, strike the balance between the past and the present. This is hugely important. One of the big things I think that was really important to us as well is we have very strong records and have done since the establishment of the cemetery. And those records we wanted to make available to our stakeholders. So we wanted to make those records available to family members to be able to search for genealogy. But a really important piece for us as well was the bereaved families and the funeral directors and to make um, our records available to them because the funeral director would need to have information available to him quite quickly when he has a family member with him uh, to ensure that we have the right grave, the right people buried in the grave and, and all those little pieces that are really important that families shouldn't really have to think about at a really distressful time for them. One of my key priorities is to deliver excellence of quality of customer service. This project was essential for our future. Our legacy system is a complex mix and variety of a number of different systems that have evolved and grown over time as we've developed our organisation, albeit in a Lego bricking type environment, which is basically mirrors how the organisation has grown organically into the large organisation we have here today. So these systems were ultimately at end of life. Some of them ultimately would have been significantly at risk of failure if any of those systems were to fail, that would have led to significant shutdown in our services. We operate essential services, we need to operate every day to deliver those essential services. So this risk was paramount and was paramount that we solved it through the TRC programme. The software that we use is TRC's Eternity software, um, aptly named because I suppose as we're talking about cemeteries and particularly for ourselves, the fact that we are responsible uh, as far as we see it forever for the, the cemeteries and the people that are buried here, so Eternity is quite an appropriate name. My name is Patrick Hessnan and I'm the Group COO of TRC Solutions. TRC Solutions are a gold SAP partner and we have deployments of SAP ERP solutions all around the world. My name is Stephen Maguire, I'm the SAP Solutions Director at TRC Solutions. My role is to carry out a rigorous pre-sales process with our clients where we fully understand their requirements and marry that up with one of our best-in-class SAP solutions. As Dublin Cemeteries Trust had multiple business units within, it encompassed allocation of costs between those business units and controlling that all within a unified ERP platform, which is known as Eternity Cemetery Management. Eternity Management Solution encompasses SAP ERP at its core, with multiple integrations into retail, online, genealogy searching, among other things. So the pre-sales process at Dublin Cemeteries Trust was led by a professional consultancy company uh, who really ran a very professional and controlled pre-sales process. So what they did was they set up an RFP process where a document needed to be responded to which would detail the specific requirements of the client. Further from that, there was a significant uh, body of work around presentations to the various team members, the subject matter experts and so on. And really it was about getting an understanding of the overall requirements, documenting those, and then leading that through a pre-sales process so that we could kick off a really effective project. Because Dublin Cemeteries Trust have multiple business units within the business, cost allocation and trade allocation between those business units had to be managed. This was deployed, now managed effectively, all within the SAP platform. The project here allowed us to achieve great things for this client. We were able to unify all business processes onto one platform, which is global best and world class. This is Eternity Cemetery Management.